What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin and today I'm gonna to show you all of the upgrades I have done to my Ender 3 V2. Um, I consider this printer to be basically done for the most part. Um, yeah, I'm getting extremely high quality prints with PLA and TPU. Those are the main filaments that I print with. Um, yeah, I don't think you can honestly get much better quality or higher quality prints with an FDM printer. I could be wrong. I have a Prusa on order that should be here real soon and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing if I can get higher quality prints. Uh, the Prusa is also three times or roughly three times the price as the Ender 3 V2. So if you're talking strictly best bang for your buck, uh, the Ender 3 V2 is a, is a killer printer. So uh, for the upgrades, I'm going to talk about them in order of kind of order of importance for the most part. Or if I were just starting out, the order that I would buy um, these upgrades or mods or whatever you want to call them in that order. Um, this is my opinion. Let me know. I'm, I'm actually curious if you disagree or you'd buy them in a different order. Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see what other people think. Uh, but starting off would be the bed sheet. Um, the glass bed sheet that comes with your printer, it works good. I used it for a long time, but there's just no way around it. A PEI bed sheet is just 10 times better. Um, I forget what PEI stands for. This one is from TH3D. It's called their Easy Flex Steel Sheet. Um, it comes with the steel sheet and the magnet base, and uh, they come in a smooth texture or a rough texture. This is their smooth one. But basically, once you're done, you take your print, you pop it off with these two uh, little prongs here, you give it a flex like that, the print prop pops right off. There's just no way around it. Uh, you get way better bed adhesion. You get way better... Um, yeah, the, the, the prints stick way better to it, and it's super easy to take them off. Uh, definitely a, a, a big quality of life improvement. Um, moving on from there would be the extruder in the PTFE tube. This is also from TH3D. This is their aluminum tough extruder and their PTFE tube. The reason you want to upgrade your Bowden tube is uh, the stock one can't handle as high of uh, temperature. So if you are you know, starting to print with higher temperature filaments like uh, PETG or ABS, uh, you're gonna, you're, it'll start melting your Bowden tube. So uh, the reason to upgrade your Bowden tube is it can withstand a higher temperature heat. And also to the diameter is tighter. So during retractions, when your filament's retracting in the Bowden tube, uh, there's not nearly as much slop or play. So you get smoother retractions. As for the extruder, um, there's just, that's just something that shouldn't be plastic. Uh, a metal extruder is just way better. Uh, you'll find a lot of the stock, uh, if you're having problems with your extrusion or it's you know getting crappy prints, a lot of times people have found that their extruder is cracked if they're still using the stock one. It's just way better. That should be an aluminum or metal uh, part period. Uh, moving on from there, if you don't have a, uh, a BL touch or any kind of auto bed leveling, I would say get the bed springs. Um, these are super cheap. This is from Amazon. It comes in a pack of 10, I believe. You can see I have the stock ones in there. And then the yellow ones are the upgraded ones. They're a stronger spring. They're flat on each end. Um, super easy to install. You just put them on, you take off your wheels, pop them on. Um, they allow you to keep your bed level for longer. So after, if you're manually leveling it, once you get it set there, you can normally, you know, it'll stay there for quite a while. You don't have to adjust it. Um, I didn't use an auto bed leveler for a long time. I had a BL touch to start with and I had a lot of problems with it. Honestly, if you're just starting off, you haven't got a BL touch. Uh, the easiest way to go is with the easy ABL from TH3D. Um, there's a number of reasons for that. Uh, one of the things too is the uh, Easy ABL doesn't have any moving parts. It's temperature based off of, uh, I believe it's temperature based. Uh, it doesn't have this probe that sticks down like this and you, you, know, you don't have a chance of breaking that off. Also too, their wire comes pre-shielded. This is one of the problems with the BL Touch is as you can see, this wire looks extremely funky here. I've wrapped in electrical tape, but I, underneath it is a steel braided cable that blocks. Uh, I don't pretend to understand what the problem is, but something about the frequency going through this cable uh, messes with the printer somehow. So I have this cable, my BL Touch cable, shielded in a metal uh, housing or sheath, whatever you want to call it, all the way back to the control board. And then I have that grounded to the printer frame and it's not grounded on this end. Uh, supposedly doing that blocks the signal or, or helps with the interference and it's worked great for me. Um, so yeah, I don't fully understand how it's working, but it's working. And uh, yeah, that's what I did to get it working. A lot of people have had issues with the BL Touch on the Ender 3 V2, uh, not working properly. The firmware doesn't mesh well for some reason. Uh, but I'm using the Smith uh, Smith 3D firmware with the BL Touch and then the shielding method, and uh, it works great. I would definitely, if you if you do have a BL Touch, um, yeah, look uh, look into to that method, and it works great for that. Um, also, to join our, if you're curious about how to do that, uh, buddy in our our Discord community 
uh, helped me figure that all out. He's the one that told me about it. I'm not sure if he found it out himself or not, but uh, yeah, it's definitely fixed the, whatever the issue was with my BL Touch. Um, you don't need an auto bed leveler, but it's a nice feature. I used it for a long time, or I had it without uh, auto bed leveler a long time. Um, yeah, it's just a, a quality of life improvement, I guess. You don't have to level the bed anymore, so it's just one less thing you have to do. One thing I forgot to note too uh, with the PEI bed sheet is you will need to, if you're using anything besides PLA, like if you're printing with TPU, PETG, ABS, you will need to put down something on your bed in between your print surface and the prints. So this stuff is, uh, what is this? This is nano polymer adhesor, or adhesive from TH3D. And then I've also used uh, an Elmer's, uh, this is a disappearing purple Elmer's glue stick. This works great as well too. Um, you just put that down on your bed sheet. Uh, before your prints if you're using uh, you know TPU PETG or anything else like that and it keeps it from uh, from sticking too much to the to the print surface so moving on um, also when you upgrade your Bowden tube and your extruder you definitely want to upgrade your fittings I buy two of everything uh, always just in case I don't know a weirdo like that these parts are cheap so these are fittings for your extruder uh, and your Bowden tube these are the fatter ones are for your hot end here and uh, these have super grippy teeth in them. They keep anything from slipping. Um, another piece that I upgraded that's in my hot end is the, it's called the, um, this is a spare one of these two. Uh, it's called the, what the, a heat break. It's, this is a titanium heat break. It screws into your hot end and your Bowden tube goes inside of it to keep it so you can, or it allows you to be able to print hotter, uh, like PETG and ABS, and it won't met, melt your Bowden tube at all. So uh, definitely, if you're getting into your, uh, your hot end, this is like an $8 piece, definitely worth upgrading. You can find those. Um, like I said, these are all from, all my stuff's from TH3D. You can find uh, them anywhere else as well too though. They just have high quality parts and uh, fast shipping, so I like them for sure. Um, anyways, moving on. This is another good thing to get. This is from, uh, just from Amazon. This is like eight or nine bucks, I forget. This comes in a little kit. You get like 50 freaking, I think it's 40 actually, 40 tips extra nozzles and uh, you get the cleaning rods to shove up in there and poke around in your nozzle to clean out clogs. Uh, super cheap. Uh, these aren't the highest quality nozzles, but they work great. Um, I have uh, some TH3D nozzles here. These are some spares and these are definitely a higher quality nozzle. There's no doubt about it. This is a better quality brass or whatever the heck it is, but these cheap ones work great. Um, in fact, most of the stuff sitting here that's been printed on those or on the cheaper nozzles, I've had no issues with it all. Um, so moving on from there, we've got the extruder, the Bowden tube, the bed springs, the uh, the bed sheet. Uh, I would say the next big thing, you could possibly move this in front of the BL Touch, is a Raspberry Pi. This is a super cool little mini computer. Um, yeah, I got this on Amazon. It's a Raspberry Pi, little mini computer. You don't have to know programming or coding or anything like that to set this up. Uh, you plug it into your computer, you put a program on it, and what this does is this allows you to print basically wirelessly. So from your printer, after you slice a file, instead of having to put it on an SD card, bring it over to your computer, put it in your computer, you literally just uh, drag it and drop it into the OctoPrint uh, interface and that you can start it and stop it from there from your computer you can uh, that's why i have this webcam mount here as well too this is just a regular uh webcam usb that plugs into the top of this this normally sits behind my printer but i've unplugged it and moved it forward so you can see it uh, you can start stop your printer load print files monitor it from your phone uh, do time lapses of the prints some really cool stuff uh, with it uh, with octoprint and the thing you use octoprint with is the raspberry pi so this is a super cool feature uh, to add as well. Um, everything here, this is, a, this is a case for it as well too that I printed off of uh, Thingiverse. Everything I talk about will be linked in the description below. Uh, the same thing with this mount here is, uh, is from Thingiverse. And then moving on is the, um, the filament spool holder, whatever you want to call it. So typically it's on top of your printer. Uh, these full rolls of filament when they're up there, if they start wobbling, they can jar your printer. I didn't like uh, you could end up getting some messed up prints because you're, you're, you know, it's messing with your frame. It's causing wiggles and whatnot. And uh, it also, I don't like the angle that it pulls the filament in. It, you know, drags your filament super tight. This is a 3D print uh, off of Thingiverse that I found as well too. Um, you get yourself uh, from, from the hardware store. It's like a bolt, uh, a bolt, a nut, like six washers and two bearings. And look, this is a brand new roll of filament. Look at how easy this thing rolls. I am just barely touching this thing and it just flows super good on here and it's going directly into the extruder so it's not dragging on the filament anywhere. 
Um, yeah, it's definitely an upgrade that I recommend doing. Uh, other than that, that's uh, basically it for the most part. I haven't upgraded anything else. I'm running the Smith 3D firmware on my printer. Uh, that works really well with the BL Touch here. Um, other than that, that's basically it. I'll show you some of the prints that I got here. Um, as for uh, filament, this is Darth Vader, obviously. I'm sure most of you guys know that. But uh, as for the filaments, I haven't really had any bad results with... Uh, I've tried most of the filaments on Amazon, and I haven't had any uh, any bad results. Some filaments I've noticed stick better to the, um, st you know, better bed adhesion. But other than that, they're they're fine for the most part. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me what filament to buy or whatnot. I've tried Sunlu, uh, Hatchbox, Envoy, or however the heck you say it, Gizmo Dorks. Um, it's all relatively the same for the most part. Um, I guess I'm just not too picky. I don't know. I've heard some people say... Um, they swear by other filaments or whatnot. Also, too, I wanted to point out uh, this Darth Vader and uh, also this Deadpool I'll show you here is made by this artist named, uh, what is his name? Eastman.xyz. He's an artist. These are typically designs you have to pay for. And uh, the guy's recently made a lot of his, um, his work free. It's on Thingiverse. The guy is an extremely good artist, so I would definitely recommend checking out his work. Uh, this is a Deadpool he made as well, too. These are free on Thingiverse. I'll link them in the description. I believe he just recently made them. But, uh, I mean, these are pretty high-quality prints. Let me know if you see any uh, imperfections. I mean, I can't really... I mean, I can see a little bit on the top here that I would critique on this. But other than that, uh, this is a dang good print, man. And... Uh, yeah, these are printed with zero supports as well, too. Um, as for the TPU, here's a TPU. This is a GoPro mount. This is printed on a Bowden setup. Might be a little too bright there. Sorry, it looks bright on my end. Um, yeah, this is on a Bowden setup, not direct drive. Uh, looking damn good. Took quite a while to print. That's the one thing you have to do with TPU on a Bowden setup is print slow. But uh, yeah, it prints phenomenal. I'm extremely happy with the quality of prints that I'm getting. These were printed upright, just like this on the printer, straight up and down. And uh, these came out amazing too. I have, I could take a heat gun to them. There's a few little fuzzies there I could clean up. But uh, these are super high quality prints. I'm extremely happy with them. Um, back to the filaments. I said I haven't really had any different, uh, you know, critiques of filaments. As if we're talking about TPU. There's no other brand than Sane Smart. Uh, if you're, especially if you're going for um, uh, FPV stuff, that's what I print three or uh, that's what I print TPU for is 3D. Uh, I use uh, TPU for FPV. Excuse me, that was hard for me to get out for some reason. Uh, Sane Smart is the only brand. It's the best brand to use. There's lots of other TPU brands out there, but Sane Smart is by far prints the best on the Ender 3 V2. It's freaking awesome. Um, these little dudes here. This is from Gizmo Dorks. I'll show you their pack in a second. Um, I printed the, or painted the, the black rim, but this is a white filament and then a red filament, and then just glued together. This little dragon egg here, this is uh, from Gizmo Dorks as well too. Uh, Gizmo Dorks has this little pack. If you're just starting off, um, I definitely recommend picking this up. This is from Gizmo Dorks. It comes in a four pack of like an orangish yellow, a red, a green, and then the blue. I don't know where the heck the blue is. It's not back in there right now, but it's only like 25 bucks. These are little smaller rolls. But if you're just starting off, I mean, that's a that's a killer deal on some filament uh, for, you know, quite a few different colors to try it out and see what you like. Um, yeah, and it's printed super good. I've Like I said, these little dudes, uh, this little dude is printed. This was printed in uh, point 0.2 as well, too. I mean, you can kind of see the lines, um, but it's it's a pretty high quality print. This dragon egg, this was like one of the first things I printed, too. There's some lines in here this could be improved on, but I mean, I would say the Gizmo Dorks isn't the highest quality filament. But uh, it's definitely good, decent stuff for the most part. Um, this is a PLA Plus. I had more white stuff, but I gave it away to a friend. I had a Darth Vader in white. I gave it to a buddy. Um, this is, uh, who makes this? This is um, Sunlu. Yeah, Sunlu PLA Plus. Um, I don't really know the difference between PLA Plus and regular PLA. You print it a little bit hotter. That's the only difference I've noticed. Uh, this is a, a headphone stand that I found on Thingiverse. Super, super cool thing. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that about wraps it up for the most part. Um, also, too, if you're just starting off, isoprope alcohol. Buy yourself some of that. That's what you use to uh, clean your bed with. Um, you'll use that a bunch. Um, hopefully, I covered everything there. Also, too, um, I would highly recommend if you have any questions at all, join our Discord community. Um, some of our guys in Discord are extremely ed educated or way more knowledgeable on 3D printing than I am. Uh, they're super cool, super helpful. 
Um, I'll link some of their, or their pictures and whatnot too. Some of the guys have um, extremely cool mods to their printers. They have badass fan boxes and freaking, you know, wraps for the LCD screen and their printers look decked out. One of my good buddies has got LED lights or an LED light here. His printer looks super cool. Um, I'll throw on some pictures or overlay some pictures now of those. Um, yeah, join the Discord community if you're interested in that and hanging out with other cool makers, uh, people that are you know talking 3D printing stuff. That'll be linked in the description as well, as long as with everything else I've talked about. Um, let me know too if you have any other video ideas or recommendations. Uh, I'm a small YouTube channel. I'm just starting out. If you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be extremely helpful. Uh, my analytics show that like most of the people that watch all my videos, hardly any of them are subscribed. So if you could drop a like or a subscribe, that'd be super cool. Much appreciated. Check out our Discord community. Let me know what other videos you would like me to do and have a great day, guys. Thanks for uh, taking the time to listen to me yap forever. Hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, if you got any questions at all, um, check the description below and then hit the comments up and I will try to do my best. I always do my best to reply to everybody, everybody's questions or comments uh, just to you know interact with everybody. So I appreciate your time. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Peace.